Alright, so, uh, <clears throat> what's up, YouTube? I know I originally said I was going to stop making, uh, videos for you guys on Dit, but, um, I think, I, I guess I was wrong, because I know it's been a while since I've done it, and I know it's been a while since I, when I last said it on my last Dit review, but, uh, yeah, because like I said, it's been a while, so, apparently I'm going to be making another YouTube video, and I'm not going to stop, because I'm still dipping, I'm not going to quit dipping, and I want to continue to try and make some videos for you guys, like you do for me and everyone else. So let's get started, okay? Um, today, uh, a few days ago, I bought two cans of Grizzly Wide Cut uh, Wintergreen, and this is my second can. So yeah. Um. Um. Uh, well, I gotta say, I must have said this a few times before. But I think Grizzly Wide Cut Wintergreen is got to be the best Grizzly of all time. Because, I mean, I've dipped, like, the long cut version of it before, like, a lot. And this Wide Cut, ever since I tried this, it's actually become to be a lot better than the long cut version of Grizzly. I don't know why or what's so different about it. I couldn't tell that part yet. But it's actually really good. To me, it's really good. It's, it's, uh, the flavor's kind of still the same, um, and, like, the thing is, is with this thing, it, it, it does I don't feel it burning at all in my jaw or nothing, so I guess, in this can, I mean, you go to dip it after, you, you know, once you buy it and everything, once you dip it and everything, it doesn't really give you any kind of burn sensation, like, it doesn't burn your jaw or nothing like that, so, that's actually a good thing, on my part, I think that's a good thing. Because I don't want to dip skull, any kind, sorry about that, I don't want to dip any kind of skull that's going to burn my jaw, because that wouldn't be too good. Um, but yeah, so, Grizzly Wide Cut Wintergreen is really good, no doubt, I give it a 10 out of 10. I know I've said that about a lot of the other certain types of cans, not the crappy ones, but like I know i said about Long Cut Wintergreen too, and... I don't mind rating that 10 out of 10 either, but I think Y Cut's the best as well. It's it's actually, I say they're both good, really good, Long Cut and Y Cut. It's just that Y Cut's different in a way because um, how they make it and uh, everything, and I guess also because when you go to dip it, like I said, it doesn't burn at all, and like you can get a good pinch out of it, a really good pinch out of it. It's easy to do that to grab a hold of and the um oh shit I forgot most of the parts of what you guys talked about that day when I watched your videos um uh, what the word for it was um the anyway uh, whatever so basically the pinchability is really good okay the taste of oh that's it the taste of it yeah my bad the taste of it is awesome it's really good okay it's just like the long cut it's the same wintergreen flavor, it's just like Long Cut, Grizzly, and Copenhagen, and all that, but it's better in a way. Like, I guess it's kind of the same, I don't know how to describe it, the difference between the two, but it's really, really good. It, uh, the only difference I can say about it, like I said before, is that you don't feel any burning to it in your jaw. But other than that, it's pretty much the same than everything, and it's really good. So, if if you guys like Grizzly... And everything, if there's anybody out there that likes Grizzly, you know, a long cut and all that, but you haven't tried wide cut yet, I would recommend trying to get wide cut version of Grizzly and try it out for yourselves. And I think you'll really like it. Trust me. This is like my second time dipping this stuff. And I found it to be so good that... I bought two cans of it, like I said, because I love it. And I think if I started dipping Grizzly again from now on, I'm going to get the wide cut version instead of long cut. Because I'm loving this shit. And it doesn't burn or anything, and I'm loving it. So, so yeah, it's pretty good. Um, oh, damn. Nah, none of it got on my arm, okay. I was just going to take in a dip. I mean, no, oh, sorry, not a dip. I was just going about to uh, spit and in my cup, and I thought I got some of it on my arm. 
So, because uh, I kind of felt like I did, but I didn't. So that's good. <laughs> I didn't want to miss the cup entirely. So I didn't. That's good. I am uh, dipping in uh, one of these drink cup things. I don't know how to describe what type of cup it is. It's just, to me, I call it a drink cup because, you know, they use, my mom uses this. She buys a lot of this and she uses it for us to drink out of. So, but it's it's really cool, I guess. I mean, I don't care too much about, I mean, I like the fact that I would love to get a mud jug one day and try that when I dip in it to dip in. But at this point right now, I really don't care too much. Because I don't think you would really need the mud jug that badly just to become a dipper and do what you love to do. Um, but either way, that's up to you guys. I honestly don't need one. I just think I should get one one day and try it out, but I really don't need one if I don't want one. And I don't have, if I was to get one row right now, I don't have the money to anyway, so I can't order one online. So you know how that is. Um, I'm supposed to be getting my money in soon, my next check coming up after April ends. So once that happens, since my girlfriend got her money, I'm going to wind up, uh, hopefully very, very soon, I'm going to get a chance to take her out on our first date. Should be good. Uh, I'm really excited about it, and I know she is too. We were looking forward to that coming soon, uh. Like, for a while now, it hasn't happened yet, but it's supposed to soon, so that's good. And I'm planning to hopefully one day move in with her. Um, sometime before June or something. Um, I, um, let's see. My birthday was yesterday. Uh, April the 18th is my birthday, and that was yesterday. And I got to celebrate it. Going to a Japanese restaurant. I mean, not Japanese, Chinese restaurant. We went to China Star. And it was pretty good, man. They had a lot of stuff there that I loved to eat sushi, all that stuff. And uh, I literally stuffed myself, like getting three or four platefuls of all my favorite types of food there at that restaurant. I mean, literally, I overfilled myself and I, I, my stomach was hurting so bad I almost threw up. And that's how bad it was. I guess that just goes to show you can't just. Like, no matter how hungry you are when it comes to that, don't overfill your stomach or anything like that when it comes to, like, don't ever overdo it when it comes to eating because you can end up in a situation where it hurts so bad that you might actually wind up throwing it all up. And that's not good. So, but that's the best way I can describe it. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to have to get off here soon because my video that I'm making will not stand past 10 minutes, I think, or somewhere around there. So I'm going to have to sign off here in a minute. Um, I'm going to do that real quick now. But before I do, everyone, take care of yourselves. Keep on dipping and do your thing. And I uh, hope you like my video. If you do, hit the like. If not, hit the dislike. I don't care. Just make sure you view it and subscribe to my video i like to get a lot of viewers out there to watch my video this time if anything that'd be great um but yeah take care of yourselves you guys okay everyone out there take care all right this is matthew pool signing out